Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can auto tag documents with metadata based on the folder you drop your files into. Um, here's the situation. Let me kind of explain to you the use case first. So I have this document library uh, with some folders, happens to be a project document library, again, with some folders. When users upload the files into a particular folder, I want those documents to be tagged uh, with a specific uh, with a specific piece of metadata automatically. All right. So if I let's say uh, upload uh, something in here into this folder, I want uh, the um, you know the document to also be tagged as invoice automatically. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, there are three steps involved. All right. So step number one. Uh, you create your folder hierarchy. Step number two, you create your metadata. Step number three, you map the two together. All right. Uh, so step number one is kind of completed. You see, I created all my folders. All right. And uh, we're going to do step number two. So step number two, we need to create uh, a piece of metadata here. And uh, essentially, in my case, I'm going to create another column uh, called document type and pretty much create all the different values to correspond to my different folder names, different types of documents. So let's do that, add a column, choice, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do document type. Here we go. Uh, and let's just uh, proceed with uh, um, a few choices here. So let's say, um, you know, one of the document types is invoice. Uh, another will be um, meeting notes. Here we go. Essentially, to correspond to each one of those, right? And then the other one would be um, CAD drawing or something, all right? Perfect. To correspond to this, all right. Whatever your choices are, we don't really need to do any formatting. So uh, I think this does it by default. Let me just erase this. Essentially, three values. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, perfect. All right, so here is our column. Uh, let me move it over here. Okay, just drag and drop. All right, so let me show you essentially if I upload something here, what I want to happen. Obviously, it's not going to happen just yet, but you, you know, let's say I upload this document in here. I want this document to be tagged as a CAD file, CAD drawing automatically. Obviously, this is not happening yet because we did not set uh, anything up just yet. So let me show you how to do that. All right, let's go ahead and delete this. So uh, let's do step number three. All right. Step number two was you know creation of that column. Let's do step number three. This is where we map our folder names to our metadata values. Uh, let me show you the trick. What you need to do is navigate to the library, gear icon, library settings. And what you need to click on here is something called column default value settings. All right, here we go. Now, what you're going to see on the left-hand side is your folder hierarchy. And then in the, in the middle, you will see all the metadata columns you created, all right? And in our case, uh, in our case, uh, it's uh, pretty much um, uh, just the document type. So what we need to do, let's go ahead and map the two together. So I'm going to uh, do this, click on CAD files right here. So you click on the folder. We need to map this folder to a specific document type. So you click on document type next. All right. And we want to specify the value. Now, it's kind of weird, but um, if you want to use the um, a Termstone metadata, all right, essentially managed metadata, all right, uh, you would be able to select from a list of drop down choices you have. But with the choice columns, and I know it's weird, uh, it's, um, you know, it doesn't, it, it, the drop down does not exist. You have to type it in. And if I'm not mistaken, I have to uh, type in, uh, uh, you know, this was one of my choices. And it has to be exactly the choice because you have to type it in, which I know is a little bit weird. It has to be the exact spelling. So if it doesn't match uh, the spelling, essentially how you set it up in the, um, in your choice column, uh, you're going to get an error message, all right? Uh, but you see, I just mapped um, I just mapped this metadata value to this folder, and once you do uh, the mapping, uh, you will get to see that little uh, green 
uh, wheel, I guess, gear icon, uh, meaning that this folder has been mapped, all right? And we now need to do the same to the rest. Again, I, I click on another folder. You see, um, you will see an icon, uh, uh, open folder icon. Here we go. For this one, we are going to, um, again, specify the value. Perfect. And again, you know, just to show you, let's say I misspell things. You see, I, on purpose, I did something uh, else. You see, it says the, it doesn't match. It doesn't match. So it has to be the exact spelling uh, like you set it up uh, in your drop-down list when you set up your column. Here we go. So this one is all set. Again, uh, you will see that little green uh, um, green um, uh, wheel appearing. And let's finish this one. All right, here we go. Again, meeting notes. Again, we're going to specify uh, and, and map it to this. Here we go. So this is all set. Now, and by the way, if you had additional columns, right, for each and every folder, you would just be able to click on that particular column and specify what it should be, all right? Uh, and same with folders. So if you had a deep hierarchy of folders, then you would be able to pretty much set it at any level, which is nice, all right? So, all right, we're done. We just mapped our, uh, we just mapped our um, you know, library, our folders to metadata. Let's test it out. So if I upload files over here, Okay, into this folder. Let's upload some files. Here we go. I have some test files over here. Perfect. Dra drag and drop. Look at this. Automatically tagged. All right. Uh, same with this. Again, I'm going to upload some other files here. Look at this. Automatically tagged. All right. Now, it's very, very important. A uh, couple of things I want to show you very important. So um, it only works. This particular feature only works during the initial upload. So if let's say I decide to move this document, let me move a few documents to, uh, let's say, to this folder, all right? Uh, let me show you what will happen. So that tag that's the invoice right now, and I'm going to move them um, within the current library to another folder. Okay, here we go. I just moved them. Uh, let me show you the value, the original metadata value will stick, all right? And this is by design. This is actually by design, all right? I know it's kind of counterintuitive in our case, but this is actually by design. When you move files, the metadata sticks, all right? Because the, the metadata, the version history, whatever you have on that file, uh, that sticks to the original file. So very, very important uh, when, you, uh, when you do that, uh, it's, um, uh, it's um, going to pretty much, uh, uh, leave the original value in place, all right? Uh, let me show you something else. Let me show you something else. When you obviously write, uh, this is still a folder, you know, uh, based library. And if I wanted to, but here's what I want to do. I want to take advantage of my metadata, right? I want to be able to filter by my metadata. All right, let me actually pin that column right here. I want to be able to filter by metadata across my library, okay? So maybe I want to filter for all invoices, all meeting notes, et cetera. Uh, can't really do it nicely when we have when we have folders in, in a way, all right? As you can see, I cannot really filter anything because I'm um, I encountered some folders on my way. So let me show you a trick. What we need to to do is create a folderless view, all right? Essentially, we need to suppress hide the folders. Let me show you how to do that. So we need to navigate behind the scenes to gear icon library settings, all right? And once in library settings, scroll all the way down. We're going to create a view. All right. We're going, let's base it on uh, this uh, default view we have. And we are going to create a view called no folders view. You can obviously call it whatever you want. And then scroll all the way down to folders. And by default, it shows you the folders, but we need to hide them. So you want to check this box, show all items without folders. Here we go. And look at this. What it's doing now, essentially, it shows me all the documents within my library, but hides the folders. All right, so these documents actually do reside in folders. It just on this particular view, I hid them. That's all. And the beauty about this view is that now I can filter across. Now I can filter across. All right. And look at this. If I want to see all my invoices, here we go. If I want to see all my CAD drawings, here we go. I can group things. Pretty much you can do whatever you want without uh, um, you know, having folders in your way, all right? 
So that's uh, pretty much uh, everything I wanted to show you today. A, a, a nice little trick um, because you might have some users maybe, um, you know, like in folders, right? And some users who want to take advantage of metadata. So you can definitely utilize this uh, trick to satisfy um, uh, both uh, users, uh, both types of crowds. And uh, hopefully you learned something new today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.